This video is dedicated to my brother-in-law, who sucks at the game, but we still love him. Today, I'm going to cover everything you need to know about Apex Legends. Watch this video for yourself or send it to a friend that's new at the game. If you're watching this video because somebody sent it to you, just know that they think you are a noob. Chapter 1, The Basics. There are 60 players, 20 teams of threes. Be the last one to survive and you win. This is the map. You will jump somewhere randomly. Look for weapons and attachments. Every few minutes, the map is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller, forcing everybody to eventually meet each other and if you or somebody from your squad or your whole squad is the last one to survive you win and that's battle royale capitolul numero 2 legendele there are eight different people that you can play as at the beginning of every game you can choose to play the same person you want or choose somebody else you're not stuck with one person each person has three different things about them that's special a passive an ability and an ultimate i don't know why the ultimate's coming from. It doesn't matter. Passive is usually a small perk that you have all the time. You don't have to press anything for it. You just have it. The ability is usually a special perk that you can use on a low cooldown every few seconds. The ultimate is usually the strongest one and it takes the longest cooldown. A minute plus to like three, four minutes. You get the idea. Next to each legend, there's an icon. If you see a shield, it means they're more defensive and they're a little bit slower and tankier. If you see a plus, they're usually a healer or a super port legend ammo means attack or aggressive usually you're the one that pushes a lot and whatever the heck he is he has literally his own category let's go in order starting with bloodhound passive tracker foes leave behind clues for you to find enemies are not gonna leave all the clues behind but sometimes they leave some for example right here we see some shells there's some bleeding over here some more bleeding there as we go close to the building we can see footsteps from the enemy a couple of seconds ago a door open right here and you can use this to track down your enemies tactical ability eye of the all father briefly reveal enemies traps and clues through all structures in front of you this is on a 35 second cooldown and it looks exactly like that you send the pulse out and for the range of that pulse you see clues and enemies their location is for that pulse it won't track them where they're going just where they are the moment the pulse hits them and it doesn't stay for too long so you gotta look around really quickly and right here i'm trying to let my brother-in-law get a kill but he gets down and i have to finish it ultimate beast of the hunt transform into an ultimate hunter enhances all your senses allowing you to see cold tracks and move faster his ultimate is on the longest of cooldowns it lasts 35 seconds it turns everything into black and white but this will help you because you'll be able to see the clues a lot better the cold tracks blood anything like that and right here there's a battle happening and this is wraith in front of me just using ability but look at the footprints that she leaves behind those are the cold tracks that you can use this ultimate to track down people and especially since you move faster you can catch up to them and enemies glow in red so you see them a lot easier you can also use his ultimate to be very aggressive in a fight it helps you a lot moving on to the second legend it's gibraltar passive gun shield aiming downsize deploys a gun shield that blocks incoming fire this covers upper part of the body and will help against headshots note that it takes about half a second for it to deploy tactical ability dome of protection throw down a dome shield that blocks attack for 15 seconds this dome is extremely powerful if you have a good team there's no bullets that go through it and no bullets that come out of it anybody can go through it enemies or friendlies but they can't shoot out of it and they can't shoot inside of it a good example if an enemy puts up the shield just to walk in and throw a grenade that way if they stay inside they take the grenade if they come outside you pop them ultimate defensive bombardment call in a concentrated mortar strike on a position you mark with smoke when your ultimate is ready you can click it and you'll get this red the smoke grenade and you can see how far you can throw it obviously it's like about the same distance as a grenade and once you throw it you can look up at the sky and you'll see some incoming stuff and i think this is one of the strongest ultimates in the game it will not hurt your teammates but it will hurt you so you gotta be careful because you will take damage from it and it lasts a long time look at that it's still going on it just now stopped third is my wife's favorite lifeline passive combat medic revive knockdown teammates faster while protected by a shield wall healing items are used 25% faster. You can see there in the distance a little shield and that is lifeline reviving my teammate and then when she comes over to me you can see that shield wall and revive. Tactical ability DOC heal drone. The drone of compassion automatically heals those near it over time. By pressing your ability key you're going to deploy the drone and the cooldown is 60 seconds. If you're missing health it will automatically latch to you and start healing you. You can reload, do your shields, whatever. You cannot move too far because it doesn't follow you but you can move around 
around it. Ultimate Care Package. Call in a drop full of high quality defensive gear. Whenever your ultimate is ready, you can select to call in a care package. A few seconds later, it lands. And once you open it, you get three things in it. And usually there's one really good item. For example, here we get this level three armor. Pathfinder. Passive Insider Knowledge. Scan the survey beacon to reveal the ring's next location. On your map, when you're parachuting or whenever you want to, look for this beacon. Once you find it, make your way to it and press your use key on the screen. And if you look on the mini map, that's the next circle. But this one will tell you exactly where the next next circle is, which is this blade in green. Tactical ability, grappling hook. Grapple to get to out of reach places quickly. Uh, think Spider-Man, I guess? I don't know, but it, yeah, that's how it works. You can pretty much climb anywhere in this game, but this right here would not be climbable. But with Pathfinder, you can get up here very easily. Don't tell anybody, but you can also grapple enemies. Ultimate Zipline Gun. Creates a zipline for everyone to use. It's not on a very long cooldown, so try to use it as much as you can. You basically just find the range and you make your own zipline. It can help you and your team get out of a sticky situation, or if you're far away from the circle, you can use it because you move a lot faster on the zipline. Pro tip that my wife found out if you're on the zip line and you jump, then you can change the direction just by turning around and press your use key again. I, I honestly, I've been trying to change the direction of the zip line forever. I didn't know that you had to jump and then just turn and press your use key again. Whew, we're halfway there. Wraith, also my favorite. Passive, voices from the void. You hear a voice when danger approaches. As far as you can tell, it's on your side. Sounds boosted. Don't get scared. They're aiming right at you. If you're not in combat and somebody's aiming at you, it tells you and you can warn your teammates. Honestly, if you're in a team and you're talking with your teammates, you're not going to be able to hear it. But look for that little warn message because that's how you know. Tactical ability into the void. Reposition quickly through the safety of the void space, avoiding all damage. Probably the most OP ability because while you're in this blue screen here, you take no damage. The cooldown for this is every 20 seconds. However, you do leave a trail when you go into it. Remember earlier when we did blood? hound and i was like hey this is wraith and she just used her ability well it's kind of easy to track her but she takes no damage meanwhile ultimate dimensional rift link to location with portals for 60 seconds press your ultimate key where you want portal number one to start and you can see your rift energy that's kind of like the distance that you can do and for the sake of the video i'll do it here portal number two so you can see both of them and you can go through it back and forth and anybody can go through it teammates and enemies you can use it to get out or you can use it to flank bangalore Passive, double time. Taking fire while sprinting makes you move faster for a brief time. It can be useful whenever you want to track down your enemies. For example, right here, you can see that I take damage and when I'm sprinting, I get to the little icon, which means I move a little faster and I'm able to catch her up. Or I can use it to get out of a sticky situation. Right here, you can see it procs and I'm able to get out of there a lot faster. Ability, smoke launcher. Fire a high velocity smoke canister that explodes into a smoke wall on impact. Press your ability key to aim where you want to throw the smoke. And by the way, you can shoot while doing this and it deploys this very thick smoke and you have two of them lined up and you don't have to use both of them just one if needed and they will just charge back up ultimate rolling thunder call in an artillery strike that slowly creeps across the landscape whenever your ultimate is ready just press it and you get to throw wherever you want it to go so just mark it give it a few seconds or if you want you can look up in the sky and you'll see them coming down uh, i looked a little bit too far and you can see them pretty much carpet bombing they're all gonna land down and after a few seconds the same way they landed they will start exploding and it does a lot of damage but it just takes a little bit for to explode and most of the time people just run away caustic passive nox vision you gain threat vision on enemies moving through your gas besides enemies taking a little bit of damage from the gas you can clearly see them and it's a little yellow but it works place up to six canisters that release deadly nox gas when shot or triggered by enemies you can place up to six of them but you can only carry as many as three of them on you at the same time and once they're fully erect you can either shoot them yourself or they're triggered by enemies and when it does that it releases this gas and that's what gives you the vision if anybody goes through them and they'll also take a little bit of damage. Ultimate Nox Gas Grenade. Blanket a large area in Nox Gas. Similar to other ultimates, so again, you choose where you want it, and once you throw it, makes that and finally the last one is mirage passive encore automatically drop a decoy and cloak for five seconds when knocked down whenever you get killed in this game you get knocked down so right here i'm trying to get killed by this person and there i go give her a second she, she's got it just give her a second she yeah, yeah, come come on 
Yeah. Okay, there you go. So you see that clone? That is the clone that it makes for a few seconds. Tactical ability. Psych out. Send out a holographic decoy to confuse the enemy. Aim wherever you want to send the decoy. Press your ability key and that will send a decoy with exactly the same way you look and it will go to the place where you want it to go. If you make them fall off cliffs and stuff like that or they get shot at, they automatically despawn. Ultimate vanishing act. Mirage deploys a team of decoys to distract enemies while he cloaks. Use your ultimate if it's ready and that will send out some decoys and will kind of cloak you a little bit, but you're still noticeable it kind of makes you this color right here so if anybody knows what to look for they can find you and it lasts a few seconds chapter three weapons i'm not going to go through the specifics of every weapon but i'll leave the link in the description down below if you guys want to check it out on gamepedia there's only four types of ammo you gotta find what fits your play style if you like to do more damage but not have the high fire rate then you're gonna go for heavy rounds if you like to get really up close you probably want to go for some shotguns if you like that mid to close range then you definitely want to go for the light rounds because it has very fast fire right and energy stuff are, are they're just weird there are only three assault rifles flatline takes heavy ammo and the fire rate is not fast but it outputs a lot of damage hemlock is the second and it's burst mode so you gotta get used to that by far my favorite is the carbine 301 because it almost has no recoil the more attachments you put on if you haven't tried it try it for a few games and trust me you will love this gun there are also only three submachine guns alternator is my least favorite one it's slow it does little damage and i don't know i just cannot get used to it r99 is kind of weird because it's extremely fast and if you're not careful you're gonna miss your shot so when you let it spray make sure you're aiming at the target prowler is the third one and this one is also burst fire unless you find an attachment which turns it from a burst mode three bullets into fully automatic light machine guns there are two remember how i said one of them is weird well the devotion has to charge up until it can fire really fast there is an attachment you can put on it and that one will make it spin a lot faster and don't get me wrong this gun puts a lot of damage it just takes a while for it to spin up it also takes energy rounds which are not that common so that's why this one is not as used the spitfire is absolutely amazing for an lmg if you're good at aiming with one mag you'll be able to knock the whole team out because it does a lot of damage and if you put a purple extended mag you're gonna get 60 rounds snipers there are four and they're fun g7 scout is semi-automatic but it's got such a fast fire rate that you can pretty much go full aggressive with it almost like an assault rifle my favorite is the longbow i mean just watch this down i got a hero down it's the closest thing to an op in this game. Triple take, it's an interesting one. Much like its name, it fires three bullets. It uses one ammunition, but it fires three bullets at a time. And you can put a choke on it, and those bullets are better grouped. The last one is the 50 cal sniper. And as far as I know, you can only get it from a drop, or it has an insanely rare spawn. I mean, I've played this game over 30 hours, and I've only found it twice. It does a crap ton of damage, but it's super clunky. Shotguns are a big part of the game because there's four of them my third least favorite gun in the game is the evo 8 because it feels like it does no damage unless you're literally so close to the person that you can make out with tongue this weapon does absolutely nothing the better shotgun in the game is definitely the peacekeeper and i know i started the clip here with the 301 but it's a 1v3 they're pushing me outside of the zone i gotta go to my peacekeeper to get the frags and i do if you're wondering what the best shotgun it's definitely the mastiff but you can only get it as a drop it's a gold rare item and it does insane amount of damage let me just do a quick reload here because it only holds four bullet i mean look at that one hit 117 damage two hits down one hit down the last shotgun is a pistol and this is by far my least favorite gun in the game it's just so bad don't use it and we're down to our last category the pistols we got three of them my second least favorite gun in the game is the p2020 pistol and there's nothing that can be done more because that's the whole point of this pistol but their other weapons are just so much better very usable pistol is the re45 fully automatic it's super fast this is probably the pistol that's gonna have the most highlights on youtube the wingman pistol because it does a lot of damage and if you're really good with it you can honestly just draw people that's two down right there hunting down the third person and you can see why this is a very loved pistol it's gonna be in a lot of highlights chapter four 
Tips and tricks. There's no fall damage and no team damage. By holding space and running forward, you can run up walls and pretty much climb over everything, but there's a limit. Play a couple of games and you'll get used to it and in no time you'll realize where you can go and where you can't. If you like getting creative, just go for Pathfinder. He'll help you go in a lot of places. You run faster with your fists. Default number three. If you jump off a cliff or blowing down a hill, just crouch off of it and you will slide a lot faster. If your teammate fully dies and there's only a loot box, pick up his banner, take it to one of the revive spots and he's gonna come back. You can ping items to let your teammates know where they are. For example, right here, my wife pinged a barrel stabilizer and I want it. I'm gonna look at it and ping it. By pinging it, I mark it and it's gonna stay there until I unmark it or I go pick it up. If my wife just pings it, it's gonna go away, but by marking it, it's gonna be there until I go get it. I don't know if there's a limit to how many things you can mark, but we did a test and you can mark multiple things. If you hit your melee button, then you punch, but if you jump melee, then you kick and you can kick a door open. But you kind of break it 50% and if you kick it again, you completely destroy it and there's no more door. Ultimate Accelerator will give you 20% in 7 seconds. Use it for yourself if you're greedy or give it to Lifeline so she can drop more care packages. By pressing tab, you can see your teammates armor, shield, knockdown and backpack. When looting attachments, if you see the yellow arrows pointing towards the gun, that means that attachment can go on one of the guns that you have. If there's no yellow arrows, that means that whatever attachment you're about to pick up is not useful for you. So Right here, I picked up level one barrel stabilizer. This is level two barrel stabilizer. I can upgrade it. And once I do that, it won't let me go back to a crappier stabilizer because I already have a better one unless I drop it manually. If you hear these little robots making noises, try to go to them because often they're going to have rare loot. And I'm kind of leaving it here so you guys can hear some of the noises that I make. But all you got to do is punch it or shoot it and it will drop the loot. And sometimes you get some rare stuff. When looting a body, you'll see that some items have a red circle with a line through it. When we're talking about ammos, the one that have the red circle are not ammo for any guns that I have on me. So the game tells you that, hey, you don't need this ammo. You can still pick it up, but it's telling you that you don't have a gun for that. When it comes to gear, if it has the red circle, it means that you already have it or you have better, so you shouldn't be downgrading. Similar thing with the attachments. If it has a red circle, that means it doesn't go on any of your guns. This makes looting a lot faster because if you already have a setup that you like, you don't have to spend time to look at all these parts because you don't use them. The last tip that I'm going to give you and this can be applied for everything else in the game from armor to attachments to weapons the lowest level is common or gray followed by blue level three being purple and if you ever find anything gold that you can pick up you should definitely take it anything that comes in different levels this is the order oh my goodness 17 minutes and i have officially been working on this video for 12 hours straight i'm gonna go ahead and render this video and upload it if you guys enjoyed it you guys can leave a like in the comments send it to somebody who's a noob if there's any tips that i missed make sure to put them in the comment section down below and i'll favor them and pin them and do all of that and if i missed a lot of them and there's a lot of other stuff that i should mention then i might make a second part to this video but oh my goodness this took forever love you guys very much god bless bye bye oh do you guys want to see my brother-in-law clutching the best round ever come here last person units let, let units get him right there get it get it get it get it get it get it units last person shoot your nuts oh, oh nice try of course not that's why i made the video